could be making a name for himself. Titan Lacadin, yes, he's only 11. He's now on his way to becoming a college football player when he gets older. Through the week, I went to all the UH camps. That's where he kind of struck some notice with some of the coaches. And I saw Coach Rolovich and he called me down and, you know, said that we think that Titan's special. It was weird. I had like random people walk up to me. Oh, you're the boy that got the scholarship. Congratulations. The road to a scholarship's hard. When when you get it, you don't pass it up. So, you know, we accepted it. It's better to focus now so you could cherish it. When you get to that time, you know what to do. I mean he's right. We gotta we, we gotta focus on what's today and what's gonna happen tomorrow. And although it's a it's a blessing and we cherish everything that that's coming out of this, you know. We know that nothing's guaranteed and we're gonna grind like None of this has ever happened. We play a lot of guys bigger than us. Size is good for, for some things, but everything is speed, man. I graduated from St. Louis High School, located in Wailai. Uh, coached there for over 25 years. That was one of the things that I told the parents. I said, I don't know if I know how to coach at this level. So I'm gonna coach like how I coach in high school. And then these guys got to just kind of like understand. How is it so far? <laughs> Easy, hard? Yeah. Hard, easy. Ah. What's the hardest part? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing hard. Last season, yeah, we're undefeated. Oh, nobody scored on us. You have coaches that would just say, Coach, you know, we're coaching this age bracket. They can't do that on this age bracket. They, they may not be able to run as fast, you know, or hit as hard, but they can do everything that the older guys can do, you know, as far as mental wise. You know, bro! I watch the team that we're gonna verse the next time, focus on like what I did wrong and what I need to improve on. And I look for coverages and the way they line up. Hawaii is a football state. You know, there's, there's no doubt. It's not everybody can afford college. So this is a vessel, football is a vessel for them to get a higher education. And I mean, families are going all in on it. Oh, you gotta share the ball around. It's not just my game, it's also my teammates' game too. We look for brothers. It's like a big family, so we share like our food around, like our balls of food, so we gotta share the football around. It takes a village to raise a child. So everybody within our organization is not, we're not just teammates, but we're actually family. <gasps> That's always the focal point of, of what we're trying to do. We're trying to build, you know, good young human beings that will eventually be leaders of our community. It starts from them. You know, they're gonna make our state and our world a much better place to live. But, and I tell people this all the time, football is about that much of your life, but it's a blueprint of who you are, who you're gonna be. You, you get that blueprint, so like when football ends, you know, you, wherever you're gonna be, you're gonna work hard. You're gonna constantly work hard. It's a blueprint. Once, the, once they're ready to leave the nest, we let them fly, and, and hopefully that what we taught, you know, taught them in that short amount of time sticks with them. It stuck with you already? Yeah. You got it in you? Yeah, I got it. You got the blueprint? Mm-hmm. Think before you say something. Don't mess up. All right, here we go. Define leadership for me. You're the leader, not the follower. Yeah, you gotta pick up your teammates because if you don't, then 
the whole team's gonna start getting affected. <laughs> if someone like talking trash on the field, I, I could just like stay humble and just tell them this next plan, focus. Sometimes if you just shine and everyone will follow you. Guys. Encouraging everyone. Helping players get better. Brotherhood. If the team is falling down, I gotta pick them up. A leader means to uh, make good decisions when no one's watching or lead by example. We don't place kids in positions. We just say who wants to be quarterback, who wants to be wide receiver. And you know, some people, some, some organizations do that and then they end up moving the kids to a position that the kid really doesn't want to play. But I believe that you leave the kid in that position because even if he's not starting, he's going to keep fighting to start. You know, so it keeps the kid mentally involved. Polynesian football. Smash one. It's it's very physical. It, it's it's becoming finesse. I prefer to play defense because I like hitting people instead of them hitting me. Us being Islanders, we had to fight for territory. I think it's just you know I think just think it's within our culture. You know I mean this is the closest thing that you can bring to to our heritage. I mean where you put on gear and you you, you go into combat. Listen, good job this week. Hey, um, uh, mental mentality-wise, we gotta change. Fly around, win every period. What? Period. Win every period. Okay, we got that. Hey, mindset. 